This video will explain how to exchange the strap on an in-ball mounted roller shutter without even opening the mounting box. The first step is to lower the roller shutter about halfway to uninstall the stop pins in order to be able to pull the shutter up inside the housing box. Now that the stopping pins are undone, you tie a firm string to the very last slat of the roller shutter. The string should be at least 1.5 to 2 meters in length. Now slowly pull the roller shutter up. Because the stopping pins are taken off, the shutter will keep rolling up into the housing box. Make sure the string is pulled tight at all times while you pull up the roller shutter. After two or three rotations, which you can easily count by the number of times the string wrapped around the outside of the roller shutter, you can carefully release the tension on the strap and the string. The shutter should stay in place now, balancing itself. Now you fold the strap in half close to the end sticking out of the wall. Then make a 1.5 to 2 cm long cut alongside the strap. Then unfold the strap and cut it off about 2 cm below the long side cut. The new strap needs to be cut the same way as the old one. Therefore, it also needs to be folded and cut a long ways, about 2 cm. Now, put the new strap through the cut in the old strap. Make sure the new strap is not twisted anywhere, then feed the bottom end of the new strap through the cut in the top end of the new strap. Once the new strap is pulled all the way through the cut, it will form a knot. This knot needs to be tightened now as much as possible in order to fit through the strap feeder bearing. For detailed instructions on how to knot the strap properly, follow this link to one of my other videos. Now the roller shutter needs to be pulled back out of the housing box. Therefore grab the string while holding the strap tightly to ensure it does not get twisted. Then pull the string down which automatically pulls the strap up through the strap feeder bearing. If the knot doesn't fit on the first go, give it a controlled hard pull on the string to force it through. Now lower the roller shutter all the way. To determine where the strap needs to be cut, simply measure 40 cm down from the bottom of the strap winder. Then fold the very end of the strap and cut out a V shape.
Now feed the strap through the brake flap on the strap winder and attach it to the hook on the spring coil of the winder. Then reinstall the strap winder and pull the roller shutter about halfway up to reinstall the stopping pins and undo the string. Before you continue now, ensure the strap is not tangled anywhere. For detailed instructions on how to exchange the strap winder, follow this link to one of my other videos. Once this is done, do a quick test run and make sure the strap is not twisted anywhere. Once again, you will find detailed instructions on how to make the strap knot and how to exchange the strap winder on my channel. Thanks for watching and liking my video. Find more videos on how to fix router shutters on my channel.